Yeah, it's been a pretty busy weekend. Take a little break, do some cutting. Got my new stand. It's a little wobbly, but for all cutting purposes, I think it'll be fine for today. Got uh, <clears throat> my waiver in to cutting mechanics. So, I guess uh, I'm gonna say start doing some bottle curriculum training throughout grade one. And uh, I think the way I'm gonna approach it is really try to just get consistent uh, static cuts. I haven't been very good at that in the past, so I feel like if I can really nail that, it'll help a lot when it comes time to try to do some of the more elaborate patterns. It's gonna get a little wild. Maybe not so wild. Just kind of a little breakdown because this is actually where I have a lot of problems with my horizontal cuts. And I think what I'm doing is, um, like I say, I got the bottle here. I feel like when I'm making the cut, just kind of out of a lack of experience and an understanding for it, what I'm doing is pretty much coming directly into the cut. And I think um, somebody was making a point about how important it is to reach out, kind of like for the overhead cut where you reach up and bring it down. I think for this I really need to work on extending out and then swooping in and that will get a little bit of drawing motion. So that's just kind of some strategizing. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I'm going to try. Just cut the actual cap off.
Well, uh, a little bit of an unexpected cut test, but, you know, if you guys have any further doubts about the Bamboo Warrior, you can see that thing I just sliced off. <laughs> and... As far as I can tell, no blade damage. Wow. All right, so I'm out of bottles, but I got this big day Coca Cola up in my car, and it's been waiting to get cut all day. There's statics, but I feel like the cuts are getting cleaner and cleaner, so. Another day. Inset. Cut. So. Last bottle, not a single static cut, but I'm in search. <laughs>